Hello and good morning, listeners. This is Almus Market Mornings with Shikhar Gar. The Fed, as the market participants expected in its FOMC meeting, raised the rates by 25 basis points, dropping the language for further anticipation of policy tightening required. Instead, the communication remained just as you mentioned, JK, non-committal and uh, stating that they'd be, uh, you know, further observing the data for any actions ahead. The focus now shifts on to the uh, ECB meeting on uh, Thursday, after which I uh, I can see market participants continue to talk about the debt ceiling, which will be the next narrative for the market participants to talk about. So, JK, what do you think about these updates and what are you expecting in the markets now? Hey, good morning. Uh, yes, I think uh, Fed by and large uh, did what the market was expecting on the rates, but... Uh, on, on their language, particularly Powell, uh, left uh, two possible interpretations. On the one hand, uh, he said that uh, it, they would be data dependent and uh, the job uh, possibly, you know, is not done. If required, they will still act. That is what he said. At the same time, uh, you know, he also said that if you put the credit tightening on top and the QT that is ongoing, I think you feel that we may not be far off. Uh, and there is a sense that we may be much closer to the end than at the beginning, uh, uh, or maybe even there. The, so implicitly, he he has uh, put a pause on the table for June meeting, but no explicit uh, statement that you know they are pausing now. So if we do see inflation higher and economy not so badly poised, we may still see a rate hike. That is what this can be interpreted as, but. Market is not buying any of that. In fact, uh, market is really thinking that there will be a uh, deep recession and they have actually been discounting rate cuts starting in July this year and uh, uh, possibly the year end uh, yield uh, to be uh, year end uh, Fed fund rate to be around 4.17%. That is how, uh, you know, the market uh, pricing is uh, looking like uh, uh, right now. And uh, at, at the same time, Fed is not taking chances because the middle path that he has taken is because uh, inflation has remained sticky, particularly on the core side and the services inflation has been unrelenting. Uh, they do not want to be in a situation uh, like the one faced in 1970s when high inflation was countered by steep rate hikes. But as the economy slowed down, they cut the rates in a hurry only to see high inflation return with a vengeance. So our view is that unless the economy sharply slows down, weighed down by high rates and tighter credit conditions which are evolving, Fed might be guided purely by the course of the inflation uh, route. Uh, as for the markets, they hardly reacted to better economic numbers, both in ISM services and a big beat in the ADP jobs report. But uh, FOMC, Powell, uh, FOMC and Powell pressure actually eked out a lot of action. On the day, two year was around 16 BP lower at 3.80%, but recovered a little later. Although expect, explicit expectation of future rate hikes was dropped from the guidance, there was no decision to pass and certainly no appetite for imminent cuts, absent some very large surprise. So despite that, markets are currently you know, uh, pricing in a rate cut and uh, markets seem to believe that economy will slip into a deep uh, recession uh, and uh, whereas Fed is not thinking so uh, severe. In fact, uh, Powell said that there may just be a mild recession and they are not done with rate X and if needed, risk it. you know, when he said that they are not done with the rate hikes and market believing that recession is on the cards, risk assets obviously have been sold off and yields were uh, slipping uh, due to the risk aversion. Gold has rallied too, which is a clear indication of uh, market's sober outlook. Uh, in fact, the VIX, the indicator of market's perception of uncertainty on uh, uh, equities has risen for the second successive day, uh, obviously. Uh, so the S&P was down. 0.7%, Nasdaq lost 0.5%, and declines were also led by energy stocks with the sec sector recording 1.9% decline. Oil prices fell for third straight day, and uh, Brent has dropped 4.4%, and uh, WTI is dipping below 69%. Uh, gold surged almost to the previous high in early Asian time, obviously when the liquidity is thin, but gave up quite a bit of gain, but uh, the underlying trend is really well uh, entrenched. Uh, now, uh, 
despite uh, Fed not indicating a pause and a risk aversion taking over the market, the usual demand for dollar, uh, what was seen historically, is absent. Euro in particular has been hovering near the cycle highs as we also await ECB meeting uh, tomorrow. The expectation of rate hike by ECB has slipped from 0.5% to 0.25% uh, with the recent loan data from Europe indicating a slowdown in credit amid tightening conditions, uh, which is an early indication of euro economy weighed down by huge rate hikes. Also, we had GDP data from Germany and Europe, which was below expectations. As for the Japanese yen dollar, is weighed down by a fall in US yields as carry trade is getting less and less attractive. Besides, the risk aversion in the market has led to safe haven buying of yen, which remains oversold on <clears throat> across current currencies. Uh, markets' uh, fears of uh, recession are clearly reflected in the commodity currencies, which are trading on the weaker side. AUD has fallen despite uh, the recent unexpected rate hike by Australian Central Bank, while Canadian dollar is weighed down by big fall in the oil prices. Now, the banking sector problems seem to be following a pattern of rising and ebbing. After a brief lull following the Republic Bank being wound up and JPM assuming its books, another bank, PacWest Bank Corporation, is exploring strategic options, including a potential sale or capital raise after liquidity boost it announced in March failed to inspire confidence in its uh, share price. And investors have been selling the shares with uh, uh, loss of confidence. And we have seen the price of this bank drop by almost 90% of its value since the regional bank crisis started in uh, March 8. This continued crisis in banking sector is what driving the market to think about a imminent recession and rate cuts by the Fed starting at least in, uh, you know, in September. Uh, of course, the other issue that is haunting the market sentiment is uh, the debt um, uh, ceiling uh, stalemate, which, uh, uh, you know, not finding much progress uh, with both parties sticking to their guns and uh, uh, possibly expected to go down to the wires, while Ellen has been sounding off saying that Fed may have just enough money to meet the ex uh, you know commitments till uh, June 1st. Uh, uh, only uh, there were also some sort of uh, geopolitical uh, you know e e escalation as uh, a drone was uh, uh, you know seen to have um, dropped on the kremlin uh, russia blaming uh, ukraine for the same while ukraine vehemently opposed to saying that they were not party to any of such things uh, but what's worrying for me is an nato intelligence report indicating that russia may be targeting undersea infrastructure of europe and usa uh, which is, you know, uh, highly concerning. So uh, we we have had lots of uh, uh, things to digest just in the last 24 hours and uh, markets have been uh, quite uh, volatile, but weakness of the dollar is really uh, telling. Even Chinese one has uh, recovered uh, some poise after the Fed meeting and also fall in US yields. Uh, as for the rupee is concerned, uh, there are quite a good number of reasons uh, for uh, the currency to strengthen further. Yesterday's uh, services uh, PMI came uh, at uh, 62 and it was uh, the 34th month of rise in the uh, PMI services uh, for the economy. And it definitely uh, another confirmation of the domestic economy doing well uh, as it followed a uh, record collection of GSTs at uh, uh, 1.87 lakh crores for April. Uh, uh, rupee has been held in a very tight leash, but the market bias still is towards uh, a downside but it's cautious because of the constant presence of RBI. Uh, now that uh, we have FOMC uh, way cleared, uh, you know, for more dollar weakness uh, with, uh, you know, possible pause or rate cuts going forward, uh, let's see whether RBI changes its stance on the currency policy. Thank you. Okay, JK, that was really good and couldn't have summarized things better. So, uh, folks, the FOMC, as JK mentioned, and uh, Babel, uh, in his statements, uh, tried to summarize was that they are going to be data dependent, but the current set of credit tightening and other factors at play, uh, it is sort of implicit that the pause uh, can be in place pretty soon. Uh, apart from that, it's the uh, talks by the market participants of the further uh, rate cuts to be seen 
before the end of this year is quite interesting to watch out how, about how things play as market participants continue to expect a bigger recession considering the banking concerns and uh, other uh, factors at play but uh, the fed does not seem to believe uh, the recession would be bigger in place as of now on the reaction side we saw safe haven buying for yen along with uh, the euro hovering around the cycle high which awaits further direction from the ecb meeting today uh, energy sector led for a drop in the equity indices oil prices continued their decline but the gold was rallying uh, an interesting set of movements happening apart from all these uh, plays around it was one of the uh, his factors at uh, play in the past uh, couple of years, the geopolitical escalation, which can keep uh, market participants on the hook. There's a lot many things happening around on the geopolitics as well. If we have to talk about domestic uh, markets, the Indian economy seems to do pretty well on uh, certain macro uh, factors with the record GST collection for the month of April and a 34th month of rise in the PMI services. A good performance altogether, but uh, the unemployment and other areas still need some work to be done. So that's that, folks, uh, with respect to updates. There's a lot many things for uh, the market participants and all of us to digest. Uh, that, but we shall continue to bring in all the updates for you on a regular basis. That's it for today and we shall come back again on Monday with another round of updates. Thank you so much for listening.